Good afternoon from the Hearts of War project. Here's a, uh, another quick video um, looking at uh, some of the artifacts that we have on display here at the exhibition. Um, right here we have in front of us uh, what's known as a, uh, a death penny, a British First World War death penny or death plaque um, or memorial plaque depending on uh, which way you look at it. Um, what it is, it's a uh, bronze disc um, which was awarded to the next of kin of uh, everybody who, well, uh, usually the mother of uh, everybody who had uh, lost a, uh, a son in uh, the Great War. This particular medal plaque is, uh, relates to an interesting story of a, a chap called uh, John Satterthwaite, who was known as Jack who was the company quartermaster sergeant of number four company of the 1st Battalion Hertfordshire Regiment. Um, and he went out to the Western Front on the uh, 5th of November 1914 and uh, served throughout, uh, starting off as a sergeant, ending up as the company quartermaster sergeant, um, where in April 1916 he was uh, wounded by shell fire. This is a photo of Jack here uh, with his brother Walter. Jack is uh, obviously the man with the sergeant stripes. Um, so Jack was wounded and uh, sadly died of wounds on the 22nd of, uh, of April 1916. This uh, particular plaque, so you can see the size from my hand there, it's large, it's uh, made of bronze, plain reverse, minus the odd markings, I'm afraid uh, I'm no expert on these, there is a mark in here, which uh, if anybody could let us know what that is, that would be great. But um, yeah, heavy item and uh, a nice, uh, a nice and a fairly common um, find around the country. Now, um, Jack's uh, memorial scroll and photos all came as, as part of a collection which uh, related to the two Satterthwaite brothers. Actually, Walter, the chap here, served with Jack and was with him when he was killed before being transferred to the uh, Royal Berkshire Regiment. And uh, Walter was wounded in the leg in the latter stages of the war in uh, September of 1918 and was uh, given the silver war, uh, silver war badge, also known as the Silver Wound Badge, and uh, brought out of the service. Um, very sadly, he uh, died as a result of that wound some 47 years later when the pain that he'd been uh, experiencing as a result of uh, his wartime wound got too much. He went to hospital to um, uh, have his leg amputated and died as a result of the um, uh, complications from the operation so um you know a uh, a brave family by all accounts and uh, very well respected within the half regiment but uh, you know very